So a question that I'm always getting is, what do I do if I keep making the same mistakes over and over again? How do I get out of that cycle? And what do I do to stop? Well, I realize a lot of us have this issue of getting super frustrated when we see ourselves fall back into old cycles and do things that we told ourselves that we're not gonna do, right? But please, this is so natural. This is so natural. In fact, this has to happen in order for you to get to your next step, to your next level. You have to experience the same things that you used to do again and they will arise again but how you navigate those situations is what matters so for an example i made a post on tiktok about like a year ago about being mindful about your social media usage and your consumption via your phone right and someone commented saying i i just i can't do it every time i say i'm not gonna go on my phone i like i just end up on my phone and then when i'm on my phone i realize oh i'm on my phone and i wasn't supposed to be on my phone and i just get so frustrated and then it just like i just feel hopeless well in that scenario right let's stick to the phone scenario because i feel like that's something that a lot of people struggle with with screen time and like subconsciously picking up your phone so our brain and our body have become accustomed to certain patterns and things that we do and our brain remembers things that we do consistently so if you have a habit of just picking up your phone which a lot of us most of us do you're just gonna do it without realizing it right and that doesn't really matter you can't really control that subconscious impulse but what you can do is in the moment that you actually do become aware of it your conscious mind becomes aware of what you're actually doing and you realize oh okay i told myself i wasn't gonna do this instead of bashing yourself beating yourself down and saying a lot of hurtful stuff to yourself that you know you're you're never gonna be successful with this and you're never gonna fall, follow through with this this is the perfect time to one, acknowledge the fact that, okay, I picked up my phone, even though I said I wasn't going to, I acknowledge this and I forgive myself and I'm putting my phone back down. That's what really matters. Picking up your phone, you're gonna do it. But when you're conscious of the fact that you're doing it, I don't care if you're like five minutes in, 10 minutes in, an hour deep in scrolling, the moment that you become conscious of the act that you said that you were going to stop, you forgive yourself and you stop doing it. That is what is actually going to cause the change because one, you're doing something different and two, you're training your mind and saying, hey, when we become conscious that we're on here, we put it down. And eventually, slowly but surely, repetition really matters that you need to keep doing this. Eventually, you're gonna get to the point where you're not reaching for your phone anymore or you become conscious of the fact that you have the thought of even picking up your phone like maybe you're conscious that you picked up your phone one hour deep eventually that time will decrease you will just realize it before you even touch it and that is the point that you want to get to but it takes a lot of patience to get there so you really need to be patient with yourself and you need to affirm yourself this is this is so important let me give you another example we all know beyonce i'll use her because she's amazing everyone knows her we all know beyonce beyonce is an amazing artist singer dancer so many things when beyonce is not performing or writing or singing or doing anything pertaining to music and she's like on an island somewhere spending time with her family is she still not a singer an artist a performer she is right like her not performing in the moment doesn't take the fact away that she is an amazing artist that she is a world-renowned artist it doesn't take that away this is what i want you to realize we have so many seconds moments in a day and when you decide that you want to adopt a habit or do something or just do something different or you want to embody something or you want to embody your most authentic self your best self your highest self there's going to be moments of nothingness and there's going to be moments where you're not really doing anything right 
And I think this is what scares a lot of people where they feel like they need to constantly be doing something all the time. And the truth is you really don't have to be doing something all the time. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I just wanted to briefly interrupt to say, if you're enjoying this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. They mean so much to me and I would love to have you be a part of our community. All right, now back to the video. If you're a runner, you not running for one hour does not take away from the fact that you're a runner. And this is why you need to know what makes up your identity so that you can constantly affirm yourself. I am a caretaker. I am a creative. In all moments, it doesn't matter if you're brushing your teeth, you're still a caretaker. You're still a creative. You're still beautiful. You're still whatever you want to affirm yourself. That matters in every single moment. And so I'm always speaking about affirmations because I feel like affirmations are such an amazing tool when it comes to confirming a new reality or confirming or affirming a identity, your identity or a timeline that you want to shift into. So if you know you're someone that keeps your word, that is a very good affirmation that I personally love to use myself. I always affirm myself that I am someone that keeps my word. And so I don't spend too much time trying to negotiate whether I should keep my word or not because I just know that I'm someone that should, that keeps my word. And whenever I catch myself negotiating, and this is the important part, catching yourself, because yes, I still negotiate with myself. But what matters is when I catch myself negotiating with myself, that's when I say, I'm someone that keeps my word. I keep my promises. There's no going back and forth on something that I said that I was gonna do. And so repeating that to yourself, you can use that. That's an amazing affirmation. Repeating that to yourself is going to help you in moments where you feel like you've lost it all. In moments where you feel like you're so far away from who you said you were, you gotta constantly affirm yourself that you're that person. Constantly, all the time, even when you're doing things that are opposite of the result that you want. I hope I'm making sense and it doesn't, it's not all over the place. But yeah, I really want you to learn to have grace with yourself and learn that beating ourselves up and saying negative things and affirming, because those are all affirmations and I spoke about that in another video. An affirmation is not just only, oh, I'm beautiful, I'm successful, I'm this. We're constantly affirming ourselves. So when you are when you mess up and you make a simple mistake because of habits, it's just like habitual, habitually like ingrained in you to do certain stuff. Beating yourself up and affirming yourself that you're never gonna be able to do this, you're never gonna be able to get out this habit. You're, you're affirming that reality and what's gonna happen, it, and, and what will happen is that you're gonna keep perpetuating that same cycle over and over and over again. And so if you want different, do different. And that is what you can do. Instead of affirming yourself those negative things, affirm yourself positive things that you are the person that you say you are and that you have the power to stop doing whatever it is that you're doing whenever you catch yourself doing it. And don't be a, oh, I'll start tomorrow person. I'll start next week person either. We only have the present moment. When we get to next week, it's going to feel just like this. That's probably a whole different video that I should make, but we only have the present moment here and the present moment is precious. And so when we're making decisions about things that we want to do, things that we want to embody, embody it now. If like we, the world could literally end like this right now. We really just don't know. We don't know everything. You're alive right now, if you're watching this video, don't wait until next month or next week or the first of next month or the, the second of like i used to be that kind of person and being that kind of person you will, you will always feel like you're chasing this like goal and that post that you're chasing it just moves further and further away every time what matters the most is what we're doing in the present moment not what we plan to do in the future you have to be whoever it is that you want to be in the future right now because the future is the present so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video today is i believe day 29 of my december video marathon um yeah i hope you guys have been enjoying this month of daily uploads <sighs> i really hate doing outros like 
I just go from being so deep in a topic and then I have to just be like, okay, bye. But yeah, um, <laughs> all my social medias will be linked in my link tree and I will link that down below. And yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow, of course.